Well, in some cases, the Valley is still seeing pre-recession prices when it comes to home sales. The Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors says the median price for a single-family home last month was $290,000. The housing market is still doing very well in the Valley, which means if you're having trouble paying for your current home, you have options beyond a traditional foreclosure. Joining us now to talk about that is Rory Bowinkle, the managing attorney for Bowinkle and Associates. And thanks so much, Rory, for joining us today. Thank you very much. This is a good market right now. It's a great market right now. There's very low inventory, only about two months of inventory that's available. So it's a good time if you're having problems making your mortgage. You might be surprised that you have equity in your house, but you may not know where to turn if you're facing a foreclosure or you haven't made mortgage payments in a few months. You don't know what to do. You don't know when you're going to lose your house. And that's where we step in and help homeowners to either stop a foreclosure, slow it down, find time assess their property, look at their options, either keeping the property or selling it now when times are good right. so that they can get that equity because if they goes to foreclosure, they're most likely going to lose out on all that equity. So we're just trying to make sure that people get as much out of their house as they can. Yeah, so there are ways to get around that and not have to go through that process because mm -hmm. foreclosure also has a significant impact on your credit rating for, for a significant amount of time, right? Yeah, you'd rather have uh, you know have a regular sale where the mortgage gets completely paid off and mm -hmm. you have money in your pocket rather than seeing a foreclosure on your credit, which is going to hamper you down the road if you want to ever buy a house again. Yeah, we talked about this housing market being so good. There's always concern that we hit, you know, the bubble's going to burst again, as we've seen it do not too yeah. long ago, it seems. Uh, so is there are there any signs that this... Uh, housing market is going to slow down or that we yeah. may see another bubble burst. Yeah, all around the country there's been talk about slowing down, cooling markets in Seattle, California where we're starting to see things level out and even here in Las Vegas, the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors says things are starting to slow down and cool off. I don't know if they're going to go down, we don't know which direction or if they're just going to level off, but you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, you might as well strike while the iron's hot and right. try and make sure that you don't end up losing money as many of us did during the recession. Yeah, so if you are selling or if you're considering selling, now might be a good time definitely, for that reason. Definitely. Uh, conversely, what if you are shopping for a home? Is there wisdom in saying, mm, I'm going to wait this market out? You know, that's always, you know, do we have a, a, a crystal ball? Mm -hmm. We don't know where prices are going to be. Um, it's, it's hard to say if you would wait. You know, the, because of the limited inventory, I think the prices are a little artificially inflated right now at this time. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how much inventory comes on the market right now because of the increase in housing uh, building costs mm -hmm. and the lack of construction uh, laborers that we have working yeah. makes that more expensive. Uh, interest rates are going up. There's a lot of factors that I think personally will see us go in the other direction. Yeah, supply side economics yeah. here coming into play. Uh, what should people do if they find themselves having trouble paying for their current home? Uh, maybe they haven't even fallen behind on payments yet. There are, I, I've heard before, some have been advised, okay, well, don't pay for a while. Uh, and then you go into foreclosure or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. What advice would you give to people who feel like they're on the brink? They can't afford the home they're in. They don't know whether they should mm -hmm. keep paying their mortgage or sell. It really is on a case-by-case -case basis. You really have to evaluate, see what they're in. It's never a great idea when you have to miss your mortgage payment. There are definitely credit ramifications for that. Mm -hmm. And we want to put you in the best position possible so if down the road you want to be able to purchase. But at the end of the day, if you don't have the money to pay your mortgage and you have to go that route and it's better for you to put money in your pocket so you can have relocation costs. Now, if you need to go rent something, you're going to have to have first, last month's rent. You're going to have to be stockpiling some money right. to make that move. Yeah. All right, Rory Vowing. Always good to have you here. Thank you. Great Appreciate to Appreciate the insight very much. If you'd like to talk with Vo Winkle and Associates, your consultation would be free. You just give them a call at that number on your screen, 702-735-1500. Is that the right number up there? Uh, yep, that would be fine. Okay, you can also visit the website at vowinklelaw.com.